This one, 1969 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. Let's do a little walk around inspection report on this car. I've already opened it all up, makes it easier for me to talk and do the video at the same time and close things up as we go. Now, I, I look at cars for people, as I've said before, and uh, sometimes buy them, sometimes don't. Um, it gets a little frustrating, well, quite frustrating to me when I uh, see an ad or I'm told by a, a, a buyer that he found an ad and here's the picture and, and check out the car. And, and the ad has one picture and a, and a description that says, beautiful car, come and see it. Um, you know, it's so easy to post a lot of pictures and, and tell us about your car so that I don't have to drive two hours, three hours, whatever, and, or make phone calls and try to make contacts to see what it is that you've got to get an initial report. But um, uh, it is what it is. So um, I uh, uh, went down and took a look at this car. And uh, it was, I was told it was a beautiful original car, like I said. Um, and I get there, and as soon as I pulled up, I could see that it had been repainted. And then I could get out and start looking at it and see that there were some other issues. Um, still not bad, as you can see. I did buy the car for our customer. Um, but let's talk about the car. All the GM cars from way back to the beginning of the early times have a data plate on them. It gives the uh, uh, trim codes and paint codes and different information on there. This is not a, uh, that's not the VIN tag, so to speak, but it actually tells body numbers and trims and so forth. Not used for ver VIN verification purposes. And of course then there's this one in 69, it happens to have the little metal plate in the window that has a, a, a VIN on it. But um, okay, so we're going to look at the car. Now somebody has obviously been underneath the hood and started rattle can spray painting a few things. And what's the first thing you, you notice but all of this, um, this roughness here. That's from surface rust that's accumulated on these parts and it's been painted over the top of that surface rust. Okay, valve covers obviously show it. And so that's, that's some surface rust, probably from uh, condensation sitting somewhere where there's moisture that's been able to come up underneath the car and sit on top of the engine, parked in a wet garage or in a damp area. Now, looking at the insulation pad, it's original and in fairly decent shape, um, so, so that's a good thing. It hasn't been uh, parked where there's mice and other things crawled up underneath and made nests because they'll pull all, this all down and make nests around the engine compartment. So it, it hasn't been infested with uh, mice or rats. But it does have the, the uh, surface rust damage from from moisture condensation, con condensing up underneath there. The, uh, the screen that keeps the things out of the, the brush and debris out of the vents, it's knocked down here. Probably somebody accidentally pushed it down when they were doing a repaint or who knows what. But that need to be, could be easily pulled up, which I just did. Now, um, everything is, is pretty much intact under the hood. All the AC stuff is still here and closed up, even though the uh, the belt has been removed and the compressor's pretty pretty tight. Now it could be that the compressor's tight because somebody took the belts off years ago, thinking that it was going to get better gas mileage with the belts off. Wrong. It, it does not. You see this it spins freely. There's no there's nothing there. Leave the belts on. Don't take them off. And the only time the the compressor comes on and runs is when you have the AC system on or in defrost. So if the climate control or AC system is shut off, that's just spinning freely. Don't take off the belts, please. Okay, looking at everything else underneath here, it's all pretty much intact. Hose is decent. Um, 
wires, electrical, power steering all looks okay. The control arm bushings are cracked a little bit, but they're not toast or beat out. They're all there. Um, belt's pretty good. Hose is all pretty good, soft. They're the, the proper fitted hoses. And it's, it's pretty good under here. Um, old car, so we'll give it a we'll give it some slack and and say yeah it's it's okay it's it's okay I checked the water pump and it's okay air pump is still hooked up so that's good too and uh, I'm looking at grill and trim before I close the hood see how the that is and you see it's not uh, it'll all clean up real good it's not pitted and the chrome is bright original chrome looks good I'm going to close the hood here closed good so we've got a little bit rust going on here not not too bad but the chrome is all pretty good and if this was in a really rusty salt uh, uh, exposed area these these pieces here would already have some pitting and starting to be going bad Two of the headlights are still the original T3s. I can see that this is a replacement and it's foggy so it's already burned out. Bumper ends are good. I've looked underneath the corners of the bumper ends where they can rust. They're all good. Um, you know, underneath the car here is where we're looking for bumper ends. Now typical repaint there. They don't do a lot of prep work. Not that great don't care too much about overspray so we got overspray all inside the wheel well areas here and um, then we've got the issues that we're going to talk about here I'm going to pass this up for now we'll look at this a little bit later but now looking at the glass and the rubber around the uh, the glass is all pretty good weather stripping is actually quite good the, the rubber along there is, is, is pretty good for this age of car it's starting to crack here, of course, but it's still totally intact in there and doing a fairly good job. Looking inside the uh, door jam areas, this original paint in here, uh, sill plates all look good, some wear on the carpets, door panels pretty good, and of course these wood inserts, which is real wood, uh, starting to crack the varnish, needs to be redone a little bit. Okay. Um, Door panels, all pretty good. This is typical, the little cracks there. I've checked all the windows, they all work. And we look in here and it's it's all pretty good. Looking down in here, you see why that uh, fender is rusted out there. The debris that picks up in there doesn't ever get cleaned out. Starts to it holds the moisture and starts the rust. So going inside, looking at the dash pad, it's all good. Inserts good. Um, inside the glove box, guess what? There's a bunch of old receipts in here that I've looked at. I kind of figured out some history on the car. Visor's good, glass good. <clears throat> oh, and one more thing I'm going to talk to you about. These pieces are plastic on the Cadillacs, and the Cadillacs of the, of the 60s um, had those in them. A lot of them are broken or missing. Easy to catch something on as you're getting in and out of the car and break them. They're in good shape on this car. Belts are hanging down. Those are the the shoulder belts that came out in about 1969. Was a separate set of belts, and they actually have a holder up here in the headliner that you can hang them in. And so they're not hanging down. They should be up in the holders. I've looked at the bottoms of the doors. Looked around the rockers looked underneath the car um, all pretty good lenses great shape all the little trim around the lenses very good not pitted nice chrome inside the trunk pretty pretty good here <clears throat> but you can see something here what do you see we see some rust water damage on the spare tire okay so that is from the back window leaking at the bottom because of debris 
that's gathered underneath here, uh, causing little pinholes and the water getting dripping down to the trunk. Could also be from some of the, the seams like, like this. But the vinyl top is, is looking really great. I think this is probably a re replacement vinyl top. So I don't know what's underneath it. It's uh, nice and smooth. There's no rust bubbles here, which you would see on an original top that's in bad shape. Especially along the bottom here, you'd see all kinds of rough bubbles if there was uh, rust there. But since it's a replacement top, we don't know what's underneath it. Okay. By looking at the damage that's here, uh, it's, it's not too bad. I've seen cars that that's really in bad shape down there. This is really not that bad. The trunk hasn't been too wet because these cardboard side panels all still in, in place. And if I pull up the mat here and look underneath, you can see that they've been damp, but they aren't totally wiped out if, if as it would be if we had a a real bad water problem going on back here. The original glue and starting to come off here, so this is loose, it could be re-glued. The one on this side is gone. Nice to see what cardboard is here. It's in pretty good shape. Okay, I'm going to close the, the trunk. Emblems, pretty good. Walk around here and look at these doors. Now I like to see the doors. Oh, there's Bailey. I like to see the doors that the, the seam is still um, nice and crisp. Original paint, original hardware, all the way down to the bottom. And we see a little bit of rust going on here. Bottoms of the doors are going to get the most um, exposure because the water can get in when it rains. It can get down in here and, and get wet down there and puddle up. Bottoms of the doors have drain holes so it all supposed to drain out the bottom. Seat's pretty good. Top of the back seat exposed to the uh, sun is still okay. And what do we see in the top corners of the headliner? Just a little bit of dampness, moisture that stain there and a stain over there. So we know that we do have or had uh, some leakage in this corner that's let uh, moisture get in and stain the uh, headliner inside. Again, the front door uh, nice original seams, very good dent there, no big deal. Here's where the original dealer sales sticker would have been here, and the service sticker would have been there. Pretty good door panel on this side. Driver's door panel is always the one that gets the most wear, and this plastic piece, driver's side, always the one that gets broken first. Still in good shape. Uh, the original seat is uh, just now starting to show some wear right here, of course. Think about this, a 1969 Cadillac, so uh, it's had plenty of years to get to this point. Seat works. I check all the switches. We're in here looking again at this door, and you see debris down inside there. That truck gets trapped and not cleaned out. Looking at the instruments. A car that's been wet, you'd see all the letters starting to turn brown or get stained a little bit. Um, these are all nice and, and crisp white. All the gauges, everything in good shape. Still has the original radio. Nobody's cut it out and put some trashy new thing in there. Pedal pads are great. Tilt wheel works. Telescoping wheel works. It's not loose at the U-joint. That sometimes comes loose on these tilt columns. Everything's here. Again, the rubber is intact around the windows. And there you have that part of it. 
mirrors, glass, everything good. We're not looking at pitted pot metal. It's all in good shape. Now, um, obviously it's been repainted and after the repaint sometime later somebody's gone back and repaired these uh, lower fenders again. That's what happens with uh, the debris that gets trapped down in the bottom of the fenders. We'll go over here and look at this one. You can see that cheap bodywork um, is not the way to go. It doesn't take too long for it to uh, for the rust to uh, keep going and uh, cause problems. This really needs to be um, opened up, cut out all the rust, weld in a new metal, refinish it, open up the drain in the bottom of the fender so that uh, it doesn't do it again, or at least for a really long time. So uh, there you kind of have it. I'd, I'd like to I'd like to see better ads out there with uh, more pictures so I can just look at a picture saves a whole bunch of time talking and looking and driving. Um, you can see I wasn't afraid to go ahead and make the purchase on this car. Um, I would have uh, liked to have seen pictures of it before I went down there but um, you know, I had to do what I have to do. Uh, didn't scare me away. Um, no reason to not put the information in the ad. Car drives great. Everything works. It's nice to find a car that uh, that is a good solid piece. You're not going to find uh, too many out there that are absolutely perfect low mile originals, but there are they are out there. Uh, this is not one of them. This is just a nice old car. So there you go. 1960